So today I am checking in with John McDavid. Hey, John, how are you today? Hey, I'm great, Ricky. How are you? I'm doing good. So you are going to tell me and talk to us about some paintings. Um, are these are these paintings that you're you recently completed, or tell me a little bit about the, overall? Tell me about the paintings. Uh, some of these th these are recently completed. I would say that I've done these over the last couple of weeks, actually, and they're they're all digital paintings. They're all done on my iPad in Procreate. Um, there's no photo manipulation. It's literally from scratch. Okay. And uh, um, I, I've just fallen in love with Procreate. It's um, so convenient on the iPad, and uh, I'm able I'm able to get some some very very natural looking strokes uh, with the tools. So, do you just want me to to pick something and run with it? Yeah. You just you walk All us right. through whatever you want to share. All right. Well, I'll uh, I'm gonna go to Kim Wexler first. So, I I've been working in caricature for years, and uh, I I tend to never bring things too too far um, into absurdity. I just my my um, my personal taste doesn't go there. A lot of people do that, and so I like to push things just just a little bit off center and uh, give it a fairly realistic take as far as skin tones. And, um, uh, and I've moved more painterly than I ever have in my life. I, I started out as, um, I was an airbrush artist and I, I worked an awful lot uh, in photorealism. And I'm just bored with it. We have cameras for photorealism and we have 3D animation, which can go highly realistic. Um, I'm more interested in, in the energy in the line and in the color. So uh, uh, thus we have Kim in this kind of painterly style. Okay, great. Um, I'm gonna bring us next to uh, a caricature of uh, Pelosi and Trump. Um, <laughs> oh I, I, and this one is a whip, it's still in the works. Um, again, you can see I've pushed it a bit, but not too much. And they're just such interesting characters. They both have the most interesting faces. And um, it, it's almost amazing that they're both real people, uh, c considering how well they, they lend themselves to this kind of uh, uh, painting. Yeah, um, they, really, they really do. Yeah, I mean, with, with his hair, and really with her hair, and her face tells a story just you know with, with uh, uh, just all the crevices and and uh, you know his hair ab obviously has character all its own and I tend to, to go fairly realistic in some of the details as as uh, if you can get in closer and take a look and I I'm just really enjoying playing with uh, light and with uh, depth of tone and in, in skin and uh just just really having a blast with that nice and then uh, i'm gonna go to john 49. Okay. Uh, this, this was a self-portrait i did a day before my 49th birthday um and i really i i wanted to do uh something fun i hadn't i hadn't done a self-portrait in quite some time and again, I, I just, I wanted it to have uh, action. I wanted it to move. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't necessarily want to draw my whole face. I wanted it to suggest uh, uh, the look of who I am. And I found a photo I liked and I just went into Procreate and I started uh, throwing charcoal down and pencil and had a lot of fun with uh, the values in this. and. Um, just playing with the different textures. It was really a bit of a departure for me, uh, especially digitally, which I'll go to uh, Treasure. Which, Actually, before you go on, oh, sure. um, I just want to, I, I wasn't planning on comment, commenting on any of this, but I yeah. have to tell you with that self-portrait, um, I know that before we started recording, we were having a pre-conversation our off the record and we were talking about simplicity and how sometimes oftentimes simpler is better 
in drawing and painting. And yeah. I think this is a perfect example of that. Um, so I, I really do like that. Um, I also do like the fact how half of it is somewhat unfinished. And I think that I appreciate that in artwork because I think it's a bit daring and bold for artists not to complete um, portions of paintings or to leave it sort of an unfinished look. Um, I have a very large painting in my um, uh, living room that I purchased and a whole quarter of it is like exposed canvas. And I think it's, I think it's great. Um, and then just one other comment um, is I like how you use hard lines um, around the, you know, the side of the face um, and the, um, the collar. Thank so you. Just, just a few comments. I wasn't planning on it, but I couldn't resist. Thanks very much. I appreciate that. Um, so you can see this next one is a, a similar style and this is treasure. These, this is my wife and my son. And, uh, you know, I've taken this one a little bit further than my self portrait, man, I really wrestle with that with, 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 uh, uh, putting in so much detail and then knowing when to leave it alone. Um, but I, you know, I, I, I had a lot of fun with this again. Uh, it was really a value study and you can see I've kind of treated my, my son's, the side of his head in the same manner as I treated mine where it's not all spelled out for the viewer. But then I, I wanted to add some color in there. I needed to add some life uh, in, into his cheeks and my wife's cheeks and carried it on a little bit through uh, some of the rest of her face. But it was just a, a fun piece to do. And um, yeah, I'm glad she's not around. It's a surprise for her uh, upcoming. So uh, if okay. she sees it ahead of time on the video, that's fine. Um, <laughs> All but, right. Uh, yeah, it was fun to do. And then uh, that led me to... Um, another piece, uh, and this is called Cost, and I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's, it's Jesus with the cross, but I really um, wanted to play more with uh, a heavy, deep emotion in the color. Um, and so it was very sketchy and loose. And I found myself layering and layering and layering. I was, I was sketching and then I, I used almost like an airbrush layer over the top to kind of uh, bring all the pieces together. It kind of homogenized everything. And then I could have more detail over the top. And, um, you know, obviously it's a piece about passion. It's a piece about suffering. And I just wanted to capture that in the midst and really have so much of it be out of focus except for a portion of his face and then up into the crown of thorns. Now, do you do a lot of um, religious um, art, artwork that's based on religious themes? You know, I you didn't don't. Really feel like you had. You, okay. I, I, I have. I have. I wouldn't say that it's been a mainstay of the work that I do, but, you know, I pastor part time. Uh, well, I pastor full time, and I'm an artist full time, so I'm bivocational. So obviously, I have a, a deep conviction about my faith, mm -hmm. which uh, will pop up in this next image, um, which is called hope. And so uh, this is the empty tomb and the hope of the empty tomb, and then the risen Christ symbolized above in the figure, uh, and. This was just a joy to paint um, uh, from, from the values of the darks and the lights uh, to, to all the energy in the lines, uh, to the crown above the risen Christ, um, to the, the hand on the chest. That's kind of been a theme, a handprint on the chest for me uh, for, for quite some time and uh, is really a symbol of, of God's mark on us, that the, the Holy Spirit's mark on our hearts. And, um, and that's something that you introduced into some of your artwork, um, like that came from you, or is that it a... It did. That's it's not a about, religious symbol. I would say, no, it's not a religious symbol, and it's something that I, I, I put into place on a painting I was doing in 03. It was a live painting I did. Uh, in front of a crowd and it, it just happened. So it was one of those, you know, wonderful things that happen and you go, oh, that, that worked, thank you. Um, 
And, uh, you know, this piece was, uh, again, it's all digital, but a lot of pencil, a lot of uh, chalk, and um, uh, some airbrush in there to pop things out. There's an artist I've admired uh, for years, and it's Drew Struzan, and he was a movie poster artist. I, you know, he's still alive, he's still with us, I believe he's retired. But he did so many uh, movie posters in the 80s and 90s, and then moved into fine art. But his work is so lively and so beautiful, and so it's just so this side of reality. Uh, while, while you recognize all the characters, it, it's just, it's amazing. And um, I can see that I'm, I'm, you know, I've, I've taken some of what he's done and then incorporated into uh, what I do. And I'm, I'm glad to admit that. He probably uh, would appreciate it if he found out. Yeah, he's a, he's a cool dude by all accounts too. And then uh, to go from uh, the miraculous to the ridiculous. Uh, the last one is uh, a caricature of me. And it's just another self-portrait, obviously very different than the first one. And uh, just playing with shapes, pushing things again, not too far. Um, and also playing, it's, it's a work in progress. I'm playing with uh, the uh, hues in uh, the skin tone. And uh, it's just a fun piece to do. So okay, great. That's what I've been up to. Well, I'm glad that I checked in with you. Thank you for checking in with me. I really appreciate it. And if I may, and you can edit this out, I just <laughs> uh -oh. love your work. I was telling you this beforehand. I I I I would just love uh, how how well structured it is how abstract it can be in, in its simplicity, uh, but, but how I know exactly what it is and where it is. It's just, I love your work. It's really, really uh, stunning. Well, thank you very much. And of course I am not editing that out. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. <laughs> no, th th thank you very much. I, I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Well, this was great. I'm glad that we got to uh, check in. And um, where can people find, what's your website so people, or your Instagram? Where do you, where I would say go? Instagram is pretty good. Go find me at Instagram. I'm at Mural Guy, M-U-R-A-L-G-U-Y, pretty simple, because I do murals as well. Um, and you can follow me uh, in my podcast at uh, The Breakthrough Creative uh, on Apple. Ooh, all right. I love podcasts. Yeah, you're going to be on it soon. So that'll be awesome. And I have been listening to it. So good job. Well, cheers. Thank you. All right. Thanks, John. <laughs>